Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about program to display invert half pyramid using numbers. Uh, suppose if enter the number 5, then output should be like this. I am going to discuss about the drive method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after control go down, and here I have taken a three integer type variable i and j and n. So, at here, printf function I used enter the number. So, whatever I am going to enter, so that will go to n. So, I enter 5. Add here. Oh, now control comes to this for loop n equal to 5, n equal to i. So n value is now uh, 5. So i become 5 also. Check the condition 5 greater than equal to 1. So add here condition true. Now control comes to this point j equal to 1. j start from 1 and j less than equal to i. So j value is now 1, 1 less than equal to 5, that's true. Control comes to this point, add here, print the j value. So j value is now 1, so that print. Next, uh, control comes to this point. Here, check the condition. So add here, j value become 2. Check the condition, 2 less than equal to 5, that's true. Print of j. Again, uh, j increase. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 5. That's true. Again, that print j value. Now, again, j value increase by 1. So, j become 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 5. So, that's true. Again, that print j value. Again, j value increase by 1. So, j become 4 to 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 5. That's true. Print 5. Now j becomes 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to uh, 5. So condition is not true. Now control comes to this point. And here cursor blink at the new line. And here after uh, control comes to this point. And here the, that decrease the value of i. So i become 5 to 4. Check the condition. At here uh, i value greater than 1 so i value is now 4 greater than 1 so that's true again j start from 1 check the condition 1 less than equal to 4 that's true print the value of j again j gonna increase by 1 j become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to uh, i value 4 that's true print j again and again the value of j increase by 1 so j become 3 3 less than equal to i value 4. So that's true. Again, print j value. Again, the j, uh, j value gonna increase by 1. So j become 3 to 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 4. That's true. Print j value. Now uh, j become 5. So I right here. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 4. That's not true. Control comes to this point. <coughs> So right here, this will print 4 and uh, control comes to new line. Now, <clears throat> here after that uh, go up and uh, decrease the value of i. So i become 4 to 3. Check the condition 3 less, greater than or equal to 1. That's true. Again, that enter. J start from 1 again. And at here, check the condition 1 less than or equal to i. So 1 less than or equal to 3. That's true. So print the value of j. So print 1 j value. Again j gonna increase by 1. So j become 2. Check the condition 2 less than i value 3. 2 less than equal to uh, 3. That's true. Print the j value. j value is not 2. So again j gonna increase by 1. So j become 3. 3 less than equal to 3. That's true. And print the j value. So j value become 
3 and now j become 4 increase by 1 so j become 4 4 less than equal to 3 that's so not true cursor billing to new line here after the i value decrease by 1 so i become 2 check the condition 2 greater than equal to 1 so that's true or uh, j start from 1 again and uh, 1 less than equal to i value 2 that's so uh, true then print the j value again and here after j gonna increase by 1 so j become uh, 1 to 2 check the condition or uh, 2 less than equal to i value 2 also 2 less than 2 so print uh, j value now j gonna increase by 1 so j become 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 3 3 less than equal to or 2 so that's not true control comes to this point and your cursor blink to new line now i gonna decrease by 1 so i become 1 check the condition here i become 1 check the condition 1 greater than equal to 1 so that's true Point. follow j start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than equal to 1 so that's true print j value now j gonna increase by 1 so j become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 1 so condition false or uh, printer so control comes to new line here after the value of i gonna decrease by 1 so i become 0 check the condition 0 greater than equal to 1 so condition false now control comes to uh, this point get ch function so that will take one input from uh, keyword and terminate the output screen so this is the way of uh, execution of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.